Good afternoon, my metal brothers and sisters, and my wars of light. Well, I said it was Freedom Call month, and this is the last day of the month, so I still have to make one more video. Might not something that you'll be expecting, but I'm gonna review my favorite Freedom Call CD of all time that they created. It might not be your favorite, but hey, I make this video also for myself and to bring to the attention that there is underrated yet very good albums. Some of you may know if you watch my latest last video from Freedom Call, the review that I was talking about a specific album called The Circle of Life and that it is my favorite album and that's why today I present to you the album The Circle of Life from from the year 2000 and 2005, not 2015, 2005. So it's been quite a few years ago. It just celebrated its 11th birthday. And it's one of the most underrated albums, I personally think, of the whole Freedom Call discography. Uh, because this album has gems on it. Starting with the opener already, that's Mother Earth. It's just one of those songs that you would expect to hear on one of the other two albums the crystal empire oh, three albums actually the crystal, uh, crystal empire uh eternity and uh stairway to fairyland and uh yeah it's one of those openers that changes in between what freedom call plays now and what it played in the beginning of their careers which now it's more happy and then it was more epic so this album really jumps in between of both lyrically it's still the magical happy kingdom that we know but musically in this album it was a little bit more fantasy and less cheerful that we hear in the music we have then the song carry on which i like a lot it's just one of those songs that just starts off and you can sing along like most of their songs is one of those metal lips like carry on carry on the chanting has begun and they played it live when i saw them on their first concert it was the circle of life tour because they opened up for rage and it was brilliant and not the band wasn't well known here yet but it was a little concert hall called the Rock Temple just across the border from Germany so it was very nice it was very cheerful to hear it and then you have the rhythm of life is one of the songs you will not really hear that much anymore on their albums let alone on their tour but I really love that song because it's just yeah such a good and well put together song with a very, yeah, very nice mood to it. And then we have Hunting High and Low, which was actually covered uh, by, uh, God, do I remember? Well, I can't re recall at this point, but it's been done on the cover album that they had uh, with, uh, uh, the, the Crimson Dawn album. I had to think a little bit uh, and it's awesome and then we have Starlight God Starlight I love that song it has to be one of my favorite songs from the album because there's been vocal skills in there and it's like so high and it's so energetic and so cheerful and so awesome that I'm really this is what Freedom Call became for me that song just a cheerful, speedy, power, happy tune metal. Then we have The Gathering. On its own, still a very good song, but not something you will hear live, sadly. Then it's Kings and Queens. I also adore that song because to me, that song got stuck in my head for a long time when I listened to this album. Why not? You, if you know this album, you know what I mean with that song. That it's it stuck in your head. The, the, 
chorus is nice. It's kings and queens, saints and sins, and stuff like that. It's just brilliant. They do it so nicely. It's so nice. Then we have Hero of Nation. Well, there we go with the battle hymns. The very nice battle hymns that you, that you hear that you hear them play still. But I haven't heard this song in quite a while. Which I would like to hear live, just like Star Child. Then we have, if I'm mistaken, High Enough. Yes, High Enough. Oh, it can't get high enough. That song gets me to a certain high and it leaves me there and I get stuck there because, yeah, it is just awesome. It is so awesome. I love that song too. Then we have Star Child. Star Child, yeah, you would have think, oh, but you already did a Star song. No, no, it's Star Light and Star Child. This is Star Child. And yeah, still a brilliant song. Because they do make brilliant songs. And they always crack down on this album because it's not what they used to make and it's not what they make now. It's the in between album. The, the passing of specific parts of how their career went and that's that missing link that changed their career to a different style from the epic metal that they used to make. It's still epic but in a different way. Uh, the Eternal Flame. Well, the Eternal Flame I actually probably heard three years ago. I heard three years ago, I think, on the live concert because they don't do it anymore, but maybe they do, but I just get overwhelmed by the songs that they play, but my memory of those things is quite accurate, so um, that song is still a song that you would sing along, arm in arm, cheering, with a beer in your hand, or cola, or Nub or Watch or whatever, just one of those nice songs. And then you have The Circle of Life, which is the closing of that album and also the namesake of the album, so you always know that they do something well with that song. So I am very happy about that, and that song is so good, it's such a powerful ending to the album. And yeah, the album just brings a tear to my eye every time I listen to it, because it's such a powerful album. And it's such a very good and strong and lyrically correct album. I'm just so happy when I listen to it. I'm so happy that I bought the live album that they brought out back then. <sighs> yeah, that, that changed everything. That made me like, wow. That is just so awesome, because I liked Halloween a lot, and I thought Chris sounded a lot like the old Halloween vocalist Michael Kiske. So, for me it was like, yeah, I love this stuff. It's like a very specific German style of power metal, and now they changed it to happy metal. So this really is the change maker in the whole career of Freedom Call. So, I really like this. And really love this album. This album is just a must-have if you love Freedom Call. You might not agree with me that it's an underrated album, though I saw a person that did agree with me, and please give this album some love. The album Circle of Light, Circle of Life, my bad, Circle of Life, that album, check it out if you can. It is such a brilliant album, it has 12 songs on it. Full epicness, full what you know of Freedom Call. So guys, and girls, and my lovely warriors of light, stay heavy, and I hope to see you the next month. Don't know what it's going to be, maybe just a normal regular month, or we will see what's going to happen if there's something specific going on that month. So stay heavy all.